Hello and welcome to my home. It's Marjorie Snyder. I'd like to give you a go have a flip through here of my latest journal. I call this a journey of love. It's a donation to a fundraiser for a girlfriend of mine who is yet on another courageous journey with cancer. This this journal is six and a half inches by nine and a half inches with a one and a half inch spine. There is lace on the pages and on the top. The back of the book is with lace as well. The fabric that was used on here uh, was from uh, the thrift store. So here is the cover of the book. It opens up and the book starts with a letter from the bookmaker, which is myself. I will not get, I've used multiple pay, uh, pages from different kits, so I have used Antique pa Paperia, their Hidden Garden Papers, Artemis, the Biodiversity website, uh, Beautiful Heirlooms, Bountiful Heirlooms, Calico Collage, Happy in Crafting, Medieval Mirage, My Porch Prince, Nick the Booksmith, Penny Rose, Scrapbooking with Me, and Took's Craft Table, and Tracy Fox. So the book starts with this um, fabric is butterflies. Butterflies in pink is the theme of this journal. And this fabric came from scrubs, nursing scrubs that I found at the thrift store that were destined for the uh, recycle bin. So the journal starts with a independent little journal with collages on it. This was a booklet that we received in the mail. Um, I don't remember what was on it originally, but I've used it to create a mini journal. These labels here are from um, Scrapbooking With Me. I believe this is a Tracy Fox label. I've done some fussy cutting. This is my porch, my porch prints. Artemis paper. The paper in this journal has been avocado dyed. The first signature starts with a flip out and a flip further. Because I'm donating this journal, I was able to use images from a calendar. So this first flip, get it in camera here, has a tag. And this is a piece of the scrapbooking paper. I believe this is Artemis. I might have that wrong. And she can journal on the other side of it. Again, um, a piece of, this is scrapbooking paper for being able to write on. This is one of Took's labels. Lots of collage. And this has a pocket behind and then a pocket in the front here. Lots of lace on the bottom. That all folds up and this is an envelope that I've collaged over. Opens up and this is scrapbooking with me. One of her pink butterfly collage I think she calls it. Beautiful paper. And this is one of Artemis' pages. 
here we've got a altered paper clip, lace on the side of the paper, and that paper clip was holding a piece of, um, again this is scrapbooking with me, a journaling page that the person who gets this journal can write on. This paper here is from, I can't remember, it's from that list. I'm going to stop saying who, who said what because I can't, who printed what because I can't remember. This is an altar play paper clip as well. And on the back it holds another piece of journaling paper. Here we have a envelope with a tag in it. And another beautiful piece of journaling paper. I will list all of the artists whose paper I used in the video um, below so you can take a look at them if you want. This was a card from the Cancer Society um, and it had butterflies on it so I covered up where it said best wishes and used the card as junk journalers will do. Here is a scrappy pad with a tab on the top so that the woman who gets this is able to um, customize her journal the way she wants. Again, this is scrapbooking with me. Um, her pink butterflies. Beautiful paper. Another altered paper clip that holds another piece of scrapbooking paper, I mean, pardon me, journaling paper with a collage that can be written on. collage down the side, the back half of that card, another altered paper clip with a journaling tag, as I said the pink paper is avocado dyed, this is a page from a journal um, that I started to use in 2020 but because of there really wasn't a whole lot to record. I didn't use it, so I've turned it into a tag for her to use. This piece of um, scrapbooking paper came from the cover of a scrapbooking pad. Always look at the covers to see what you can get from them. Another collage. This is biodiversity um, from biodiversity website, and another altered paper clip. As you can tell, this journal is a writer's journal. There's lots of places for the person who uh, gets this journal to write. Um, I know that she wants to record uh, favorite sayings, memories, inspirational quotes. I like that uh, collage, quite nice. A bookmark or a tag she can do with it how she use how she wants and a flip up corner. And that's the end of the first signature. There is a snippet belly band that I made and then another this is scrapbooking paper where I've cut out um, and a collage, a scrappy collage on the front. The second signature has another flip out with a collage, avocado paper, um, and another tag. Another envelope, lace on the side. This is from Biodiversity website. Some Tim Holtz and another snippet, avocado dyed paper.
And this is a um, altered paper clip. I was playing around with tags and seeing how I could make it, them turn into tags. So this paper clip has two, two little tags in it, writing tags. And on the other side, there's another one. Sort of hidden little places to, to journal. They're quite tight because of the paper clip on the inside, but they do go in. And then again on the, oops, I guess I didn't put anything on the back of that one which is fine. The paper clip becomes the decoration. Here is the back side of another one of those paper, scrappy paper tabs that I make. Collage. Another card. A paper clip and a, ta a tag. Writing journal. Another collage with cutouts from um, a botanical book, some Artemis paper in behind, butterfly music paper. Paper clip. Another snippet belly band with scrapbooking paper. third signature and this one does a lot of flips so it has a tag here a writing spot here another tag tag here. Another nice collage. Some of the tags have sewing around them.
Snippet Belly Band. The back of another one of these um, scrappy pads. And that way she can add this paper wherever she wants on a colored page if, or if she makes a mistake and wants to um, hide some writing, she can do that. I have been known to write something that's very painful and deliberately cover it up with something's beautiful. I know it's there, nobody else does. That's what our journals are for, aren't they? Nice collage on the side here. And then the last page, or the last page of the third signature. There are three more tags. There is a altered envelope with um, uh, Tracy Fox um, dictionary quotes on it, some scrapbooking with me. Um, then on the inside, I've included um, a cutout butterfly, so again, she can make it her own. There are some Tim Holtz of, um, cutouts here, and here as well, and that's in the last pocket. And then I was on Pinterest, and let me move this to the side. I was on Pinterest and saw this, so I thought I would make it, and so this is a... Um, hexagon that flips out. Every flip has a butterfly on it. And then she has all of these writing pages. And this is what it looks like on the other side. So this journal has in it 132 uh, pages three signatures, three, um, 31 tags, 11 altered